Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to simplify this given rational expression. Before we get started, let's do one thing that is really important. We are going to identify that this top part where I'm going to put the brackets is going to be our numerator, whereas this bottom part is going to be our denominator. Now in our next step we are going to remove these fractions on the top and on the bottom as well. Now let's focus on this numerator part of this fraction, this part I'm talking about. Let's focus on the denominators which are x and x square. So that means our least common denominator, or sometimes we call it least common multiple, is going to be x power 2. Just put down the highest power over here, which is x power 2. And now let's focus on the denominator part of this fraction. And we can see we have uh, over here in the denominator x and x square as well. That means our least common denominator for this denominator part is also going to be x squared. And now as we can see that the least common denominator for both part are same. So I am going to multiply the top part by x squared and the bottom part with x squared as well. Now let's go ahead and distribute this x squared with each and every term in this bracket that is going to give us x square and when we multiply this with this one that is going to give us negative 4x minus 21 on the top denominator is going to be same thing we are going to distribute over here as well and that is going to give us x square minus 2x minus 15 and we can see that we no longer have fractions and now let's focus on the top part over here x square minus 4x minus 21 which is quadratic we can easily factor that one out and the possible factors are going to be x plus 3 times x minus 7. Is that right? All right, good job. And at the denominator, let's focus on x squared minus 2x minus 15. And we can easily factor that one out as well. And the possible factor is going to be this time x plus 3 times x minus 5. All right. And in the next step, we can see that this x plus 3 and this x plus 3, that is gone. So we just simply ended up with x minus 7 over x minus 5 as our simplified answer. And here is our simplified answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.